Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 21. So for this question we've got two fractions divided by each other and let's start with the first of those fractions. On the numerator we have 3, then a bracket squared. And inside that bracket we've got tan 60, which is square root 3, and tan 45, which is 1. Now onto the bottom of this fraction we've got 2 times sine 60, well sine 60 is square root 3 over 2, and this is times by 5, and then times by sine 30, which is 1 half. Then we divide this by the second fraction. On the top of this fraction we've got 2 times sine 45, which is 2 times square root 2 over 2, and on the bottom we've got cos 30, which is root 3 over 2, plus tan 30, which is 1 over root 3. Now we've just got lots of simplifying to do. Let's start with the numerator of the left fraction. When we have a bracket squared like this, that just means the bracket's there twice, since it's times by itself. So we could write it like this. Now let's focus on expanding this bracket. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. Root 3 times 1 is 1 root 3. 1 times root 3 is plus 1 or root 3. And 1 times 1 is 1. This will simplify, the 3 and the 1 will make 4, and then we've got 2 root 3, so it's 4 plus 2 root 3. So let's replace the double bracket with 4 plus 2 root 3. We can also expand this bracket on the top, we just need to times it by 3. 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 2 root 3 is 6 root 3. Now let's look at the bottom of this fraction. These two 2's here would cancel out, leaving you with root 3. And then if we multiplied all of this, we'd get 5 root 3 over 2. We can deal with this 2 on the bottom here by timesing the top and the bottom of the large fraction by 2. If you times the bottom of the fraction by 2, it will cancel that 2, so we just need to double the top of the fraction. So instead of 12 plus 6 root 3, 24 plus 12 root 3. Now let's look at the right fraction. On the numerator, these 2's here will cancel out, so it's just square root 2. And on the bottom, we've got this 1 over square root 3. We can rationalise the denominator here to give root 3 over 3. You can now add together the two fractions on the bottom here. This will give you 5 root 3 over 6. We can deal with this divide 6 in the same way we dealt with the divide 2 on the other one, just by multiplying the top by 6. So we end up with 6 root 2 over 5 root 3. Now this is a division of fractions, but we can change it to a multiply and take the reciprocal of the second fraction. And then these 5 root 3's here will cancel out. So you're just left with this over 6 root 2. Now there's a common factor of 6 we can cancel out from all of these terms here. So we end up with 4 plus 2 root 3 over root 2. We can now rationalise the denominator by timesing the top and bottom by root 2. If you times the top by root 2, you get 4 times root 2, which is 4 root 2. And then root 2 times 2 root 3, which is 2 root 6. On the bottom, root 2 times by root 2 is just 2. And now there's a common factor of 2 to cancel out, so we just end up with 2 root 2 plus root 6. This matches the form we were asked for in the question, so we finished. It's 2 root 2 plus root 6. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads.